Hey everyone, how you doing tonight? Well, you know what? I've been bored. Haven't been able to do much with my hand the way it is after surgery and stuff. And I was sitting around the house today and I just got uh, really anxious to get outside and do something. So uh, I went shopping and uh, decided to cook my mom and stepdad dinner tonight. Grill them up some grub. Let me show you what's on the menu here. Alright guys. Well, here we have some uh, grilled mango. Um, stuffed with uh, some extra ma mango slabs, uh, butter and brown sugar. Um, what happens when you're grilling it, it kind of gives it like a light caramelized flavor. So um, these are just about done. You can see the juices coming out on the bottom. That's about what you want. And then here I've got some uh, grilled portobello mushrooms that I stuffed with some Spanish rice. Um, take the portobello mushroom heads and uh, clean them out inside and save all your scraps. And then uh, fill it with your uh, your Spanish rice, and then I use a little red onion on top here as a kind of like a secondary bowl. And then I put a couple pea pods in there and some radishes, and and then I take my scraps of my uh, leftover pieces from the portobellas, and um, I mix it with a heavy cream, a little sea salt, and then some pepper, and I boil it up, well simmer it till it thickens up real nice and so it's a real earthy full flavored mushroom taste those should be really good and then over here I made a uh, I made a uh, wild blueberry wine sauce um, this is pretty good guys um, this is one of the better sauces I've made what I did was I took a bunch of uh, blueberries and pureed them and then um, added oh gosh probably a quarter cup of water Two, uh, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a little cinnamon, and uh, a little bit of brown sugar. About three tablespoons of brown sugar. Um, the wine I used is the stuff from Three Lakes Winery. Cranberry, rhubarb, semi-sweet cranberry wine, and or cranberry wine and rhubarb wine. Now this is a uh, one of our state wines. It's made right here in Wisconsin. Um, Pretty nice flavor. It's smooth. It's not dry. I can't stand dry wine, but uh, still leaves the palate uh, wet. And then, um, so anyway, um, then I added some uh, fresh blueberries at the end. So there's some chunks in there, um, some whole blueberries because that's tasty. And that'll get drizzled over the um, mangoes there, the uh, grilled mangoes. And then after all this is done, I'm gonna grill up some cornbread here. That I cut in half and uh, buttered up. So, yep, this is what's uh, for dinner tonight, guys. Um, I'll get back to you after this is all done and I get everything plated up so you can really see how it looks. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Hey, guys, back again. Well, I got these, uh, got everything plated up. Don't they look yummy, guys? Haha. <laughs> yep. Now the uh, marinade that I use for my steaks, um, I don't know if I said this before or not, but um, I normally use sesame oil, like a couple of cups of set or like a cup of sesame oil and uh, two or three cups of, of water. And then I add my seasoning to it and then throw it in the fridge, you know, for a couple three hours. Uh, but this time I had to use a little vegetable oil because I was all out of sesame oil. But uh, I used a uh, sweet pepper chipotle, uh, like a smoky flavored seasoning that I make up. It's uh, it's pretty tasty. Um, I'm thinking it'll go pretty good with the uh, with the uh, earthy flavor of the mushrooms and the uh, and the uh, Spanish rice and that wine sauce that I made turned out better than uh, what I anticipated. But it's sweet, it's tart, and it has like a nice uh, almost like a caramely, smoky flavor to it. So. All right, guys, this is what we're having for dinner tonight. I hope every el everyone else eats well, and uh, everyone has a good night. So uh, we will talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.